Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to screenshot on your Samsung Galaxy Tab S8 series. I will also cover how to capture an entire web page with just one screenshot. So what we're going to do in order to take a screenshot, there are two ways. I'm going to show the recommended way and I'll show you an alternative way as well. So the recommended way is on the tablet itself, you want to find at the very top the power and the volume rockers. So what you need to do is you need to click the power button and the volume down button at the same time. So what we're going to do is I'm going to do this together. So you see here, put one finger on the power button, one finger on the volume down. You just want to click it to click and release. Don't click and hold because if you click and hold this, uh, the screenshot will not be taken. So let's do that together. So three, two, one, click both. And you can see a screenshot has been taken. So I'm going to do this inside uh, on my stand. So we'll just click three, two, one, click. And you can see a screenshot has been taken. So how does things look like when you do it incorrectly? So I'm going to do a click and hold and watch what happens instead. You can see a screenshot isn't taken. It said the power menu shows up instead. Sometimes Bixby will show up as well, depending on your ta on how your tablet is configured. Now, if you only click on the power button, but not the volume down. So I, I just did that correctly. If you just click on the power button, but don't put enough force on the volume down button as well, you can see the tablet will lock. You need to make sure you put enough force down uh, for both buttons to click at the same time. One inconvenient thing, is it's easier to press the volume down button than it is to press the power button and that's why screenshotting is a bit janky i remember asking my mom to you know showing her how to take a screenshot and she was having issues because you know she would press the volume down but she wouldn't put enough force on the power button so I recommend you put just a lot of force make sure both buttons click successfully now how do you do the alternative method well this method is quite inconvenient but i'm just going to show it just in case you would like to use it so when you get your palm here and you just want to swipe across the screen and you can see it's a bit janky uh, but it does work so you can see just get your palm swipe across it's not 100 percent but you know if you do it slowly you'll be able to take a screenshot if you do it quickly you can see that time it worked but sometimes it just won't work so try it one more time you can see that time it didn't work try again you can see if you do it quickly sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but if you do it slowly you can see the screenshot has been taken I recommend you use the volume rockers, but if you want to use that method as well, you can use it. Now, what about if you want to capture an entire web page with just one screenshot? Well, let's open up a browser. And let's say this is the Fortnite website. I want to capture the entire website with just one screenshot. So let's use the same method we used earlier with the power and the volume down. So we'll take the screenshot, three to one click. And you can see once the screenshot is taken, you see this icon here. Tap on this icon before this view goes away. So we'll be slow. So just that one more time. And you can see once it shows up tap on this icon it's going to move the web page down so seems like it glitched out here so let's just try that one more time seems like the software glitch so we'll just do that again we'll tap this and you can see what it's going to do there we go it's going to move the web page down and it's going to increase the size of your screenshot so we'll do that again and so now we have captured the entire web page of for, uh, the Fortnite website so you just give it a, a couple of seconds and this should sh uh, go away on its own. If it doesn't, just tap on the empty space. And you can see the screenshot has now been saved. So let's go home and let's take a look at how our screenshot looks like. So we're going to open up the gallery here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go out. And what we want to do is we're going to tap on the triple lines, albums, and we just want to find screenshots. So we'll tap into screenshots. And you can see this is a screenshot of the uh, regular website. You can see here uh, it's just a screenshot of, this, of the screen. However, the entire website, take a look at that. You can see it's captured the entire website and this is in one screenshot. That will uh, prevent you from needing to, you know, take a screenshot of the top part and scroll down another screenshot. This is all in one screenshot and it's far more convenient. Now let's talk about some tips and tricks when it comes to taking a screenshot. So let's take a screenshot right now. And you can see we have a bunch of customization options. So let's tap into this one and let's see what it does. So once we're here, we can actually crop the screenshot itself using uh you know these uh these arrows just like so zoom out zoom in move this around here all that good stuff so i'll just leave this as it is set that back to default and you can see here it will also select the annotation tool so once you're in the annotation tool you can annotate the uh, screenshot itself you have the eraser you can erase stuff if we tap on the uh pencil you can see we can change the brush that we're going to be using all that good stuff and let's just erase that one more time if you don't want to use the eraser tool you can always use the backwards button so we'll undo changes and then the reader button redoes the changes if you tap on the save icon that will save the uh, screenshot 
the share button you can share the image so you can see you can share it via messages and so i have to blur out those messages <laughs> those numbers uh, we don't want people you know being doxxed and you can see you can share it via google drive all that good stuff uh, whichever place you would like to share it to so let's uh let's do a bit of annotation and then let's save the screenshot and you can see if we go to the a gallery application like so you can see back in the screenshots area that screenshot and all the annotations have been captured and so just in case just one more time if you need to go to the screenshots area you tap on the triple lines here to get this pop out view and then albums and then screenshots and then you'll be brought to this area what if you've already taken your screenshot so let's say we'll just do you know edge we'll just take the screenshot here but the screenshot's already saved, which means you cannot edit the screenshot. Well, what you can actually do post editing. So let's open up the gallery application. So here it is. You want to navigate to where that screenshot was. So let's tap on screenshots. And you can see there is that screenshot. Now what you can do is you can tap on the uh, brush. And once you're in the brush, you have a bunch of customization options available. So what we have here by default is the rotation tool. So this will allow you to rotate the image then you have the free button. This changes the aspect ratio. So free means you can just customize this however you want. If we tap on it one more time, 16 by nine will enforce the screenshot to be in 16 by nine aspect ratio. And of course you can change this to whatever you would like. I'm gonna set this to free. I'm just gonna set this back to the default. And then we have here the warp tool. So let's say, uh, this isn't really useful for screenshots, but let's say, you know, your screenshot, you just wanna distort it, you can see. If we just move this, it moves the screenshot to the side like this. So that is the horizontal view and then the vertical view. You can see that as well. So we'll just tap on the tick to save the changes. If you don't want to save the changes, just tap on the X. We also have the flip tool like so, and then the rotation tool as well. Then we have the brush and the brush you can, you know, draw on the screenshot. So we'll just use the different colors here. All that good stuff you have the undo redo tool you have the brush tool and if you tap into it you can change the size of the brush as well all that good stuff you can also use the s pen if you would like to as well so what we'll do is we'll just tap on the save with that and you can see the changes to that screenshot have been made so hopefully this video did help you out it was a long one because i wanted to make sure by the end of this guide you know how to take a screenshot you know you know every way available you also know how to probably customize your screenshot so if this video did help you out make sure to leave a like subscribe if you are brand new there are a bunch more options you can do inside the gallery application i will leave a video in the description down below uh, if you would like to master the gallery application so would you buy me and with that being said thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye